Hey guys, uh, well, welcome to another video. Um, so, so today I thought of explaining about, um, you know, uh, what is IAM and uh, why do we need IAM? What are the things we can do with IAM? Um, so again, this is completely for beginners. Um, so if you're really experienced or advanced guys, <laughs> you can skip this video. Cool. Um, so, so IAM is nothing but, um, you know, uh, just just want to give you an overview of IAM. So what is IAM? IAM is nothing but identity and access management. Okay, access management. So as you see the word management, man management is nothing but it is a console where you can control who can access what. Okay, and um, so there are uh, some four or five components, but I would say four important components are there for IAM in AWS. So the first one is uh, users, and the second one is user groups, and the third one is uh, policies, and the fourth one is rules. So if anyone who wants to start what exactly this IAM is, so they should be thoroughly good with all these uh, four items, okay? so. Um, so this one, uh, users, user groups, policies, and roles, these four things, um, in the consecutive videos, I'll be explaining about this. Okay. Now, if you remember my first video, when I created the account using my, uh, debit or credit card, so that account, we call it as a root account. Okay. So root account, so root account is the one, you know, uh, which you used your credit or debit card okay and now um, is this the powerful account yes it is very powerful okay you can do anything with anything with this account okay now if anybody else get my account okay if somebody else got my username and password of this root account then what will happen he will log in he can do wonders or you know uh, i mean it, it's really a big mess so i will next i will show you how to secure your root account okay now can i can i use this root account for everyday purpose no 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 you should not use your root account for everyday purpose okay so for, so after you create a root account do you create a root account you know don't use it okay so you have to create another another user account and give the permissions whichever is required and you can use that okay so that's what i'm going to show you uh, in this video yeah so got it so i am is nothing but identity in access management uh, that is where you manage your aws users and their access to aws accounts and multiple services the common use of i am is to manage uh, four things one is i am uh, groups and roles and policies okay and uh, what do you mean by root account root account is the one where you created the AWS account okay that we call as a root user or root account okay and uh, root user uh, or root account is having full admin privileges okay and this root account can access to any part of the services or any part of the account okay and most important do not share this root account uh, uh, you know credentials to anyone else okay so these are all the main uh, topics uh, for this <clears throat> so now I will just show you how to secure so concept is how to secure the root account okay is it is it enough enough to secure only with only with username and password no so you cannot okay uh, because if i if i get someone else someone else root account you know username and password username and password then it's a security risk okay so i can uh, launch more instances or i can do a lot of damage for that root of their account okay so even that is happens for us as well so how do you secure it so we are introducing a concept called multi-factor authentication multi-factor authentication 
okay so multi-factor authentication is nothing but uh, it's an extra layer of security okay where uh, for example i just show you so let me do this okay so multi-factor is nothing but uh, say for example uh, this is your pc okay pc and uh, this is uh, your aws uh, you know aws uh, console okay so it's like a cloud i'm sorry for the drawing okay now um so you're logging in uh, okay with the username and password username and password okay so now what happens is i'm introducing one device called mfa here concept mfa so so we have to include both mfa and username only then you can access to aws okay so i'll just show you how exactly this mfa you can set it up so i'm going to my aws.amazon.com and uh, clicking on sign into the console so this is a root account okay now i'll just click on iam here on the left side so when you click on iam so it's clearly asking uh, a security recommendation like add mfa for root user okay so now i'm just sitting on add mfa so when you hit on add mfa it's asking to activate mfa i'm just hitting on activate mfa there are three options right now one is virtual u2f and other hardware so virtual is nothing but um there are some softwares which you can download it from play store or apple store uh, based on your operating system and you can use it <laughs> and the second option is u2f security key which is nothing but it is a hardware uh, key so if you search in google ub key in amazon you will get some hardware key fob like this okay so if you connect it it will get authenticated and there is a third option also again it is a hardware kind of thing we call it as a uh, you know gemalto or gemalto token so for example if you type in amazon so you'll get the token again it is like a security key fob okay so there are three ways so i'm just choosing virtual mfa device obviously i don't have uh, you know second and third so i'm using virtual mfa device and then i'm just hitting on continue now it's asking install a compatible app on your mobile device or computer okay now i'm just right clicking on list of compatible applications clicking on it so so my phone is android okay so i can use any of these uh softwares anything so i've already installed um let me check. I've already installed Google, I believe. Google Authenticator. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I have already installed Google Authenticator. I'm not sure whether you guys can see it. Yeah. So, so just see the Google Authenticator. And you can see there is... Uh, so, there is, there is an option which says uh, scan QR code here. So, somewhere here scan QR code okay so uh, I'm just clicking on scan QR code on my phone okay so now uh, in the screen as well it says show QR code so I'm just scanning the QR code I scanned it so now I got some number okay so I got some number after scanning the QR code, I'm just scrolling down. So here on this screen, MFA code one, I have to enter the number which I'm getting on my phone. Okay. So the number right now which I got is nine two zero seven eight zero. Okay. Nine two zero nine two zero seven eight zero. Okay. Now the MFA code will change in next um, couple of seconds. Now let's see. So you have to pad the code right now. Okay. So nine two zero seven eight zero. okay it's not a change okay now it is changed now i'm gonna put that port here one nine two eight five on one and just hit on assign okay now you have successfully assigned virtual mfa virtual mfa will be required during sign so just hit on close now it is done now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on uh burger symbol and then new in private window now i'm going to click aws.amazon.com now just hitting on sign in and then here I'm just choosing root user and what is my uh, user ID AWS beginners and then 
next and it's asking me for the security key here mm, edge 3z42 enter and then password okay this is first type of authentication now if you see since i've set up mfa code it's asking me for the mfa code so i'm just going to my google authenticator so now if you see i'm just opening the google authenticator so whatever code i'm getting i'm just punching it there okay so 267957 right cool submit oh i'm sorry it's not working so let me re reinsert again password and then mfa code it's asking so mfa code is i'm just waiting for next code okay 017090 submit okay perfect so there are two ways of authentication now if if somebody hack my username and password and if they don't have this google authenticator which i have paired so they they will not be able to access this console okay so this is where if i hit uh, this is where security is very important and uh, it's a two two factor authentication method okay two layers i would say so if we just hit on iam here so if you see root user has a mfa root uh, so this is very good okay so this is what we wanted so we have done it on this session okay cool thanks guys and okay and one more thing i forgot to tell you so in case if you want to deactivate the mfa so samir how can i do the deactivate mfa just click on global on i'm sorry just click on your username here and click on security credentials okay and then after that just click on multi-factor authentication so here just hit on manage and then it just this user will not be required so just hit on this user will not will no longer be required to provide mfa during sign in just hit on remove that's it again you're back to the day one okay so now next time when you log in for example i'm just hitting on new in private window adbiz.amazon.com and then hitting on sign into the console okay see it's automatically logged in uh, let me try in google chrome without mfa in fact so i'm just opening it here adbiz.amazon.com signing into the console okay let me go to the new in private window new incognito window sign in okay cool now it's asking adbs beginners at gmail.com enter okay it's asking for the security check so file b zm okay okay i've entered my password okay now if i hit sign in it should not ask you for my mfa security key let's see okay i'm sorry uh <clears throat> tq7 wph wow interesting q678 n2 what 4f 44d2 okay see it did not ask me for the mfa you got it since i have removed the mfa so this way you can activate and reactivate okay Thanks guys, bye.